Anti-corruption agencies from all over Africa are meeting in Rwanda to discuss strategies to recover stolen money. World Bank stats indicate that the continent loses about 148 billion US dollars to corruption every year. Sarah Kamani is attending that meeting in Rwanda and she joins us now. Uh, Sarah, these are the illicit outflows that our former president often talks about. Uh, just run us through what's happening there. Well, uh, the meeting started off today and we have uh, heads of anti-corruption commissions from across the continent meeting. We also have representatives from the African Union. But to get exactly the picture of who is here, I'm joined by Charity Nchimunya. She is the executive secretary of the African Union Advisory Board on Corruption. So just tell us who is here and what do we expect to come out of this meeting? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, there are a lot of people, like you've already said, we have representatives of uh, national anti-corruption agencies. We have representatives from uh, state institutions that have a stake in as far as asset uh, recovery is concerned. We have uh, civil society organizations as well. We have um, interagency networks uh, against uh, asset recovery from across the continent, as well as uh, from the Caribbean. And in terms of what we expect, actually, is uh, we want to get lessons from the field in as far as asset recovery is concerned. We want to see what is working, what is not working, and those possibly could go into the, uh, the common Africa position on asset recovery that the African Union Advisory Board, along with other stakeholders, is spearheading. It is an issue that uh, has been agreed that as Africa we need to speak with one voice when it comes to issues of um, asset recovery. So all these people, the expertise that we've uh, been able to bring uh, in this meeting, we expect that uh, we'll be able to uh, get insights, useful insights, that will go into the common African position on asset recovery, like I've already indicated. So the assets are stashed abroad, but what challenges do you face as a continent as you try to bring back this money into the continent where it is needed most? Uh, basically, there are a lot of challenges, and uh, some of them they stem from uh, the different uh, legal jurisdictions of the uh, countries where these uh, assets are stashed, and uh, sometimes just the complexity in technical uh, matters. You request, as uh, perhaps as a requesting state, you may not have the actual legal. Uh, uh, the actual legal uh, requirements that are acceptable by the requesting requested uh, state uh, nation, so that in itself poses a, a challenge. And um, further than that, we also have challenges that uh, have to do with the lack of um, mutual legal assistance. Sometimes uh, state, states are not just willing to help one another when it comes to, to this area. And uh, sometimes also it's a question of an equal bargaining power where the requesting state does not have the same uh, perhaps resources, bargaining power as compared to the requested state. So the requested state sometimes may choose to sit uh, on a request for a repatriation of the assets, and that is a huge uh, challenge. But we are saying that uh, as Africa, we need to speak to with one voice when it comes to these issues, so that uh, as a united front, we could be able to uh, to possibly pose a formidable force in as far as asset recovery is concerned. Thank you. So we will be speaking to Charity once again tomorrow and uh, during this week to understand just what these challenges, as you have heard, are, but also how this meeting will be able to deal with these challenges and come out with a common position that will lead the continent towards recovering its uh, foreign assets stashed abroad to come back to the continent where they are needed most to develop the continent. See you tomorrow. All right, that was the, the SABC Sarah Kamani live in Kigali. And uh, we'll have sporting action for you uh, just after uh, this little interview.